Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is gonna be a, a quick review, pros and cons, I guess, if you might say, uh, of this car. I'm just gonna throw things and information out there. Um, so hopefully this video helps you out. I'm gonna take out the uh, the body. As you can see the body is pretty cool. Um, in reality, it's not flimsy. It's it's uh, <clears throat> actually pretty decent. Uh, improving uh, a body is really uh, silly. Well, silly. It's it's easy. They just say it's uh you know oops that just just ran out there. Hold on one second, guys. All right, so you pretty much will take a uh, uh, a uh, competitor's uh, tape. Uh, I'm actually not tape the net and uh, apply it. Apply it inside and with a shoe glue or goop, um, you'll lay out the layers inside. <clears throat> and then you uh, put the uh, goop glue or shoe glue and uh, let it uh, pretty much uh, settle and it will be nice and tough and strong. <clears throat> the, uh, the wheels, it so happened they are cool, but they are not 17 millimeter hexes. They are 12. <clears throat> not sure why Red Cat did that. Definitely not sure. Um, the uh, let's go from the back. The bumper. It looks again. I haven't ran it, but it looks sturdy. We'll see what happens once it's uh, running. You can modify this uh, skip plate in a way where um, it will <clears throat> kind of like uh, protect you from the impact. Uh, rear tower, flexible plastic, um, you know, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing huge. It just uh, does what it's supposed to. The rear shock towers, um, the shock towers, uh, shock uh, observers are, you know, not the greatest. But you know what? If it does the job, why mess with it? Um, I see it on the road. Uh, you know, these things are kind of break and crack. A arms they look very solid. I'm more concerned about the A arms inside where they go when they go narrow. Um, the uh, buckles, they are <clears throat> out of uh, nice uh, heavy duty hard steel. Um, see, you get your um, <clears throat> sway bar, which goes from one side to another, which is a great improvement by red cut especially for this car uh, it's it's a bit heavy with this with this uh with these tires um <clears throat> rear diff um i don't think it's going to cause a problem if it is they are cheap to get that's one plus about red cat the parts are cheap um they're easy to uh, get them off the internet your local hobby store is not gonna have it i'm not sure why I guess there aren't too many people that will go with the uh, uh, red cat. <clears throat> and moving forward, you have your your tank, which again, usually when you can to your car, that just means that your tank might have uh, a hole or might not be sealed. <clears throat> so that's one of the reasons why also guys will change this. <clears throat> Excuse me, the. Uh, Top cap supposed to be nicely sealed. <clears throat> oh my God. That's why it has a uh, spring that when you pick it up, you, or when you lift it up, you drop it, you let it go, it will seal it on its own. Uh, going from there, you have your uh, rear dog bone, which everybody says they're, they're skinny, small, not for aid scale. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, you get your, of course, dog bone over here in the rear and on the other side uh, overall I haven't done nothing to this truck but uh, change a couple of things we're gonna go over that is your pool start it's there um, there is your as you can see it's a black head 0.21 and it's not sh doesn't say anything over here on a head what it is but if you see my other videos on this truck it is the uh, OS, oh boy, let me see if I can get this camera in there. Ah, there it goes. OS.21, which I think this truck 
is decent with the point twenty one. Point twenty eight would be much better. But uh I have not started uh this uh motor. I had not maintained this motor as of yet. Just got the truck, just got my hands on it to kind of a rebuilt what was broken when I purchased it of eBay. It's a, another eBay purchase that uh, I inquired. It looks again. It was uh, it was pretty much never used. It, it was started once, and that's it. Long story short, um, the guy bought it, got it, started once, let it sit and sing, and uh, went through the entire tank of nitro. That's the tank, and started to. Uh, well, attempted to start it the second time, did not happen. Usually in this motors in the OS and SH, um, <clears throat> after first tank, you might actually tune it. Now this guy can see that he was not getting enough, excuse me, he was not getting enough gas because it's, it's uh, all the way in. So I would pretty much do about one turn out, maybe one in a 16 turn to Make sure it's flattened. The idling screw um, hasn't hasn't been really touched. Take a look. No, it hasn't been. So, um, car wasn't getting enough gas, um, and that's why it happened not to start the second time. Um, moving forward, I have changed the spur gear to steel. I find that necessary and a great improvement. Remember, when you do put a steel, a steel uh, spur gear, you need to adjust your slipper clutch. If you don't, I mean, it will go, you know, crazy fishtail and all that, uh, do roosters. But the minute, the minute all that, all that weight comes down while the wheels are spinning, it will put pretty much uh, a pressure, pressure that travels, travels from the center to rear and front. And one of these rear or front differential will, you know, pretty much strip. I've had an, uh, an RC from uh, uh, from eBay that had a rear diff damaged. <clears throat> this is a four-wheel drive, which is awesome. I have uh, Rusty uh, Traxxas Nitro Rusty. That is on the rear-wheel drive. It is a fun car. I probably would never sell it uh, unless somebody really give me a, a nice, nice uh chunk of change for it because it's nicely improved with the cage and all that um but uh you know it's like having a baby you you want to sell it or give it to somebody that knows what they're doing and they'll take care of the rc moving forward <clears throat> that is handled to me is useless i guess let you carry the the rc this way uh most of my rcs i'm uh, missing a couple of parts here and there but anyway you got a basic muffler um I don't worry about the tailpipe or the other again this is not put in <clears throat> but uh yeah, lots of people that will put a rubber rubber fitting over here so the uh, nitro and oil doesn't blow on the tires i honestly think that if uh you're going to flood the motor you're going to you know spit all that oil so don't flood it people that really don't have a tune properly will make these you know tires and these rcs you know all in uh, dust and dirt and nitro and oil so make sure you pay attention how much oil is coming out of it that you don't flood your motor long story short just to throw a, a, a thought out there i see a lots of guys go into nitro because battery doesn't last too long for them and uh and nitro is that smell the excitement and all that you know six uh you know uh, things that you're thinking of um but <clears throat> every time i see a person doing a nitro Example last week I saw a guy running in a uh, in a uh, park. It the, the the car was running so rich that it keeps getting kept getting flooded, and it kept stalling out. And I told him you gotta race you know the uh, low speed needle. Um, and of course I I raised it for him. I tuned the car for him, and uh, it it just flew all over the place. It was awesome. He was excited. And that just tells me that he really he likes the hobby. He he likes the fact that he can go with a nitro and uh, with a good remote control he can go really far. But it also shows me that he's not really, you know, he's not really well informed of how to tune these motors and why they have to tune that tune it that way and uh, you know what is the process or procedure. Anyway, moving forward is 
you got your battery, you got your receiver, <clears throat> and of course, you got your uh, uh, buckles, knuckles, all that, you know, control on the front, and uh, you got your front diff, <clears throat> excuse me, and of course, you can see, I changed the front ones, why I changed the front ones? Well, because one was broken already when I bought it, so I figured I'd change it to a uh, blue aluminum, which I did, and uh, <clears throat> when you do an impact, usually the impact is with the front, so that's what I gotta worry about. And of course, you got your sway bar, um, you got your bumper, I see the bumper, it is flexible, and I see it, you know, I see it breaking, um, but there's no play, in the wheels, which I love, it's nice and stiff. I love that too. And moving forward, <clears throat> so as you can see, these guys are actually nice and steel. Um, it's got some sort of bushings. Um, this tire could use a little bit of uh, uh, reinstallment. Again, it's just 12 millimeter screws can't see it there but it is the nut is a little bit bigger but it's a 12 millimeter hex adapter and moving around of course you have <clears throat> you have one servo back over here for throttle and brake and of course there's oil on it that's okay and then you you have another servo over here, right there, hex fly. That's that's what the red card uses. Um, I would change <coughs> the uh, the arm servo arm into uh, steel and uh, go from there. Definitely, what I would do, and eventually, maybe I mean I got too many RCs to be doing all that improvement at once. But definitely, put, oops, sorry, put uh, a water a water resistant. No, well, I'm sorry, waterproof servo. Uh, over here and over there and uh, of course with a better torque okay um, I have not driven this RC I don't know how the servo handles I only know that of course when the car is traveling it handles better there's no uh, resistance against anything uh, but definitely change it to waterproof both of them and I go from there um, spirit gear we already talked about Meshing we talked about um, Sorry my fingers right in the camera I'm trying to look for that that's uh, low speed needle boom Okay, so let me just do my adjustments. There he goes. All right. It hasn't been touched Doesn't even have a scrape. So this truck I I am considering brand new And I think it's a great buy <clears throat> uh, If I get more time I will actually uh, try to start this guy because it is <clears throat> one RC that I have that I just got with a pole and I hate pole it's the worst thing but apparently the OS engines uh, don't have a real play for pole uh, or for power start so pretty much the SH do because I have those real plates for power start and they always do not so <clears throat> I will make a decision if I'm going to change this motor and uh, sell it on eBay. The guy says he couldn't start it. Again, it was flooded. So I'm gonna start this, and if it's working perfectly, um, <clears throat> I will probably break it in for somebody. That's, you know, last thing. Lots of people like to have a brand new uh, um, motor. So I might not even, <clears throat> if the guy, if I put it on eBay, the motor, and I will put it that I can either break in the motor or I can either send it this way. It's up to them. It will take me pretty much one day extra to send it out and uh, do that for that person if that person decides to buy. <clears throat> but anyway, all, all these uh, links and everything, that could be definitely improved um, with uh, um, Traxxas parts and eventually when they do break, I will do so. Um, the uh, servo saver, I heard it's not the best, but uh, guess what guys, uh, you know, it's there's, there's room for improvement and you should do that. That's the beauty about the hobby. Um, other than that, this is, this is pretty much the whole thing. 
as you can see, original shocks in the back, uh, improved aluminum shocks in the front. It should handle nicely. Um, like I said, the uh, filter is uh, pretty much nice and clean. It has a zip tie at the bottom of the uh, of the hose. So I know for sure that this, this truck wasn't driven around for too long. Actually, as a matter of fact, I don't think it was driven around at all because the, uh, the tire is brand new, has no marks of used threads. Um, the uh, inner inner shell has no dust, has no mud, has nothing. Um, <clears throat> the tank has a little bit of nitro, um, a little bit of wetness. Again, that just tells me the guy did not lie. He, in reality, had only uh, set it down and started for one tank. Um, other than that, <clears throat> I'll install Skyfly uh, because I have the uh, Skyfly uh, remote control. I have up to 10 different cars that I can uh, log into it. So I'm going to put this guy on a side. We'll yank the inner, inner uh, items and pretty much put the Fly Sky and uh, install my good remote control. So every time I grab on a different RC and I'm about to go and play, I will just take one remote control and one car or two cars or three cars, whatever I wish. I haven't had the chance, I haven't had the time, been doing lots of overtime at work. Uh, it's, you know, kind of like for me, beginning of the year, so I got to kind of, you know, clock out uh, some overtime so I can, you know, uh, actually earn what I really, really want at the end of the year. Don't stay with a basic salary, but off the subject. Um, so usually I have the time to do this at night. I will go to like a big you know parking lot or whatever and uh, just try to rip it. I am just definitely scared about that motor. I do not like that motor. I did not know that that motor it only comes with a hand pull. It pisses me off. It sucks. Um, I actually get SH uh, probably point twenty eight could fit in there without a problem. And uh, uh, you know what? This is a red cat. I'll I'll stick with the point twenty one and see how. How that's gonna go? I can always uh, drop my point twenty eight that I'm using right now on a Moon Sun or Red Cat Racing uh, RC. Uh, that's a Truggy, and uh, this is actually a truck. The other one's Truggy, and the other one's a buggy. So I got pretty much whatever I needed. I'm looking out for a crawler. See if I can get it from uh, Red Cat Racing. A crawler for about buck thirty five, and other other something. You know, 10 scale, go from there. Anyway, guys, it's been 17 or 18 minutes of me yapping and bobbing. If you like the video, thumbs up. You know, if you don't like the video, get a comment regardless. Maybe uh, you got some questions uh, and I might have some answers. <clears throat> Maybe you'd like to, uh, you know, purchase one uh, in the future and you don't know which one to go with, you know. Uh, what your needs are, what your likings are, dislikings, and so on and such. What are you looking for? How much you want to spend? You know, things like that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I think... This is a good buy. This is a good truck. Um, they are all made this way, whether it's Traxxas or Red Cat. Um, I, I guess Traxxas uses, uses different plastic, but you know what? I can toss a lot of parts from uh, Traxxas over here. Uh, same thing with the service and everything else. So it's no big deal. We can go around some, some problems, but I'm going to leave this as is. And then, of course, I will make my beautiful improvements as it breaks. Um, I do not like to spend my money, throw my money in the air, and just say, let me get this, 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 and that. So, <clears throat> if I determine that this server is too weak, I'll get a different one. I've determined that the steering server is too weak, I'll get a different one, and we'll go from there. For the rear plates, I have a rear plate adapter, and uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to take that piece apart, which I already have. I believe that hex... Uh, uh, shaft is not 12 millimeters, it's probably smaller than that. I've seen adapter once before, but I'm going to try to change the uh, um, the motor shaft uh, from uh, this one to SH. Um, so, in other words, I'm going to take the motor shaft from SH.21 and I put it in this one so then I can use the rear plate. If that works out and put out a video, you guys can see what's up, what you can do so you don't have to sell or toss out or, or part out your existing nitro OS.21 or point twenty eight, and just uh, change a couple internal uh, parts and, you know, call it a day. Um, other than that, uh, it seems OS is more expensive than SH. It seems that OS has better reviews and it also has better performance and high peaks and you know and high pitch so it really I, I can't give you a review on the motor because I haven't started I haven't 
driven it so once i do that i will give you that and we'll go from there all right guys so please take care of yourself enjoy your uh, summer uh go out to the beach you know play with the rcs and do what you got to do stay tuned bye guys